Hello, this is Brenda with Pete's RV Center in Cherville, Indiana. And today we will be walking through a 2022 uh, Forest River Wildwood FSX. This is the 190 RT. And this is the last one in the company. We have it on sale at an excellent price. You can call me for pricing information, but let's take a look around and see what this little guy has to offer. So total of 25 feet on this one, which is great. That includes the hitch and everything. Here's the front view. You've got a really nice big canopy. An awning that's gonna come out. That's a power awning. I like that they did almost the full length of the trailer because it just gives you that really nice big outdoor area to hang out at. Um, you've got your sturdy steps going in here front door with handle and of course the screen door this is a brand new with warranty camper you'll see these vents on the toy haulers that black thing between the door and the awning um, you can open those so when you're hauling your motorcycle or your dirt bikes if there's any fumes or smell coming off of them you can uh, vent that so here's your double axle And then you'll have some outlets out here with a cable plug in for a TV. Double speakers. You'll see that sticker that says enclosed or removable um, underbelly panels. That's for accessibility. So that's if you need to get to something under there. You don't have to take off the whole bottom of the camper or tear into it. The panels are removable and easily easy to put back on. So I'll give you a shot of that underbelly in just a minute here, but I just want to point out these gorgeous windows on the front here. So lots of big windows on this one that are going to really bring that natural light in. And, um, you know, give you a really nice view of your campsite. So this does have the manual jacks on the front and the back. And I'll show you the back of the camper here. That's your big garage door that can go down to a ramp or you can have it as a patio. And I'll show you a little bit more on that patio when we get inside here. The two um, devices on here are going to be lockable. So you can't, it will come with a key where you can lock those up so people aren't getting in there. And then up top, it's kind of hard to see, but you do have the wiring for a backup camera, uh, which we could add on here at the shop. There's another one of those vents. And then on the back side of your camper, you're gonna have a lot of your utilities here. So another cable plug in, 30 amp. Spray port, it'll come with the hose for that. Your city water connection, hot water heater. Another hot cold shower out here with dials and a sprayer. It's your fresh water, your exhaust for your furnace. And then over here is your black tank flush. And then we'll kind of get a shot of this underbelly for you as much as I can, but there's your dumps. And here's everything else that's down there. That's where you can keep your sewer hose. And let me just see if I can get my phone under there. I don't know if I'll be able to see, but hopefully you guys can see. And I think I just found the spare tire. Awesome. Hopefully y'all can see that because I can't see what I'm filming right now, but you could get a good look at those um, underbelly panels, your spare, your dumps and everything else. So here's some storage. This does have the magnetic clasp. We can just pop it up there. That blue thing is the sprayer that I was talking about over there. And it does have this neat little shower head on it that's your 30 amp power cord and this is basically right under the bed in there so that gives you a shot of your inside uh your outdoor storage i like that they continued the floor through this because it just gives it a nice finished look okay 
go around front here. Power tongue jack, double propane, and it comes with one battery. Just want to make sure it's showing that there's a hookup for two. Yeah, so you're seeing two red, two black there. So you can get a second battery on this side. Our prep will come with one, but we always have the option to add a second one here at Pete's or you can do it yourself. We've got this guard for road debris. And I'm going to back up and just kind of give you a nice shot of the front of the camper and the back side there. All right. Let's head in. This is a friction hinge door. So you can see it kind of gives a little give back. But that's how it doesn't go slamming around if you have it open and it's windy outside. All right. I really love wildwood decor. Oh, looks like someone was demonstrating the bed over here. But I love the grays. I love the whites. I love the mixture of colors. I think it's very modern and I think it looks great. But um, you'll have two seats here. This one has cushions. It looks like someone was showing this camper today and so they're kind of sitting over here. So, But that kind of gives me the opportunity to show you how this can flip up and attach to the wall and get out of the way there. Those little legs come in. But if you're needing more floor space or a dog crate or you need to flip those up to haul your um, stuff in the back. Both of these will flip up and get out of the way. You'll notice the tie downs on the ground. There's several, they go all the way back. And I'm just gonna kind of pan so you can see. So it does come with this um, collapsible table. You can use that inside and take it outside however you want. But going back to the patio, it's got this awesome screen system that rolls out on the wheels. And then you can set that up on your patio. So you've got a whole nother living area out there, which is so much fun. You can bring the dogs out or just sit out there and relax, get a little table and chairs. And I had a client asking about how this secures here. So it's looking like this is magnetized there. So you will have magnets that you can bring as far over as you need to keep that on there for when you have the patio open. And it, I'm seeing it goes all the way down. So that's cool. You can have just the screen or you can have the big tarp down to help keep your air conditioner in. And then this opens like a door to get in and out. So I know it was a little close up there, but I hope that helped explain that feature there. Um, you do have some outlets over here, USBs. Again, USBs between the two windows. And then let's go over to this side. So it's looking, I'd have to measure, but I'm thinking you could at least get like a 32 or a 40 inch up here. You've got your plugins up here for your TV. Uh, prep for Wi-Fi. You've got the extender and LTE booster. So that means you can grab Wi-Fi from farther away. So if you're camping and your campsite has it or, you know, McDonald's, whoever, Starbucks, you can grab Wi-Fi from farther away. There's your fireplace. That's going to light up real pretty. It also is an electric space heater. And down at the bottom, I think that's a CO2 detector in your fuse box there. So let's look at the kitchen and the storage. Radio for indoor and outdoor speakers. You can Bluetooth through this, plug into it. Or, of course, just pick up channels off the antenna. And I'll show you inside some of these cabinets. You have a light and a fan over your cooktop. That's another window here. It's got windows on each side of the coach. 
here's your sink. One big area with a drying rack, faucet. And then down here, we've got a spot for a garbage can or cleaning supplies. Microwave. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's a cake setting on there. Yes, you can make a cake in this thing. That sounds delicious. Spaghetti, pizza, chicken, popcorn, beverage. So this looks like a convection microwave to me. And it comes with the accessories to do those extras with it, which is cool. And here's your drawer down here. Manuals. All right. Let's check out the fridge. Whoops, I just locked it. So this is a 12 volt and I'm pretty sure it's the 10 cubic foot. But these cool a lot quicker than the old gas electric fridges, which is nice. You can start putting food in there right away. And it's a big space. So I'm going to kind of show you the ceiling while we're back here. And hopefully you can see all that. But there's your air conditioner. It is ducted. That's what those vents are on the left. You've got a ton of lighting in here. Indoor speakers, skylight. Got it all. So I'm just going to pan one more time and then we'll kind of head to the bathroom and the bedroom. But tons of floor space in here. There's no slide out on this model. So it's kind of nice if you need some room to get around or if you have dogs or even if it's just a rainy day and you want a lighter weight camper that offers a lot of floor space. So I absolutely love the brands like Wildwood that are doing these bigger showers instead of those corner showers because you just get so much more space in here. They're easier to get in and out of. And then you're going to see me for a second here. Hello, everybody. But there's your mirror. And you've got your outlet sink. Some storage under here. Plumbing, too. You can definitely get a trash can or a toilet paper holder over here. You could even add a little shelf if you wanted to or a little cart. And then you've got... Oh, it's hard to open. More storage. And then there's your fan. Lighting. And your toilet. That's for you, Ed. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Gorgeous window up front. You do have a spot back here to hang, uh, to mount another TV. Looks like this camper is wired for solar, ready to receive it. Should have a port on the outside that you can plug into along with, um, wiring on the roof so this is kind of in the way here but this is a queen size bed you've got storage back here let me try to push this out of the way real quick i'm sorry i didn't realize that was there before i started filming nice ledge and then more storage over here hang clothes there and some cubbies this will lift up. I, I can't do it with one hand, but that'll lift up and go to that under bed uh, storage that you already saw from the outside there. Got a curtain that'll close and you can secure it out of the way here if you don't want it closed. And then that just shows you your tank levels, battery, turn on your water pump, water heater, lighting through the ceiling and you can get your awning out there. And your thermostat. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tour of the Wildwood Today, again, this is a 2021 Forest River Wildwood FSX 190RT. It's available now, but don't wait too long because it's our last one. Uh, my name is Brenda. I work at Pete's RV Center in Cherville, and we've got a bunch of used and new campers available. I'd love to help you pick out the perfect one for you and your family. So don't forget to like and subscribe. 
And you can get a hold of me at Pete's RVs at 219-865-1656 for any RV needs. Happy camping.